Hello guys, what is up? It's Electronic Leader here, and today I'm going to be explaining to you why I think Advanced Warfare is better than Call of Duty Infinite Warfare, and by doing this, I'm going to actually compare the two games and see why I think one is better than the other. Now, first let's start out with spawns. Spawns are very interesting in general. Um, the places you spawn is very important because you can be spawn killed very simply, and that could just screw up the whole day for you, and you can be sitting in the corner raging. You know how that stuff works. Well, basically, um, um, you know, it's kind of it, it, it's iffy. I I heard that Infinite Warfare has really bad spawns, and when I played it, I really felt like the spawns were really horrible in general for myself. Now, uh, keep in mind that this is why Advanced Warfare is better than Infinite Warfare. So I'm gonna be explaining why. Um, spawns are really weird in Infinite Warfare. I feel like enemies spawn right next to you a lot of the times, and they're just over there in five seconds, and it's just you know, it just feels kind of weird to me in general. Now, uh, second thing we're going to move on to is weapons. Weapons in an Infinite Warfare are very, very clunky feeling to me. Where Advanced, advanced Warfare, they're really nice feeling and they're actually, like, they're actually good weapons. They all have different feels to them. Um, the reason I really don't like Infinite Warfare's weapons is I feel like every single Infinite Warfare weapon I used in the beta, the demo, and the full game share play I got to try out were all the same guns. And so I don't really know in gen in general why um, they created those weapons if they're all going to be the same weapon and they're all the same gun and I have no clue what they're even doing so I mean let's let's just be real I don't know about that now uh, move on to the colors the colors uh, in the game I feel like I got to give this to Advanced Warfare the colors in Infinite Warfare are dim ugly crap feeling. I, I really just look at the colors and I'm just like, is this really a game? Like, why did COD create this? Um, I'm not really sure in general why the colors in Call of Duty Infinite Warfare are really dim and ugly, where Advanced Warfare is the complete opposite. If you look at Advanced Warfare, they got bright colors, but the colors are nice and the maps are designed pretty decently. Now, next, we're going to go on to map designs. I guess spawns technically does have so much to do with that. Um... Map design, um, it, it's very, uh, the lanes are way better, or the way the map design for Advanced Warfare feels way better and way smoother than Infinite Warfare. Infinite Warfare has, like, such random spawns, and that's really what screws up the maps. Um, it all ties in with those spawns. Those spawns is what's screwing it up. They really gotta change that up in general. Advanced Warfare spawns are actually really nice. If you guys go over to Call of Duty Advanced Warfare right now, and play it. I mean, I feel like the spawns are great. The only problem that most people seem to have with Advanced Warfare in general was that the jump packs were in the game. But if you slapped a different title except Call of Duty on Advanced Warfare, I'm pretty sure some other people would have bought it that like futuristic style game. I'm not really sure in general though. I mean, a lot of people did like it, including myself. It's actually one of my favorite Call of Duty games, so I am kind of being a little bit harsh. Now next we're going to move on to Supply Drop. For Supply Drops, this is a very interesting one, because Infinite Warfare supply drops are kind of like in between for me. I mean, I opened like at least two of them in the time I was playing, two or three of them. And I, I really feel like, I don't I don't feel like there's a point in opening, like, opening them. They're not as powerful as Advanced Warfare variants, but that it's kind of a bad thing in a way, because uh, Advanced Warfare variants were actually like... You know, something you you could earn too, because once you hit in the master prestige category in Advanced Warfare, you can start earning weapons like the Obsidian Steed all the way to the Speakeasy, and even the Rip at the last prestige. So, I mean, technically, under certain circumstances, Advanced Warfare had a very fun rank up earn system, though it took a very long time in general. Now, uh, I can't really. Trying to think of something else to compare. I actually have not played the campaign of either one of these Call of Duties. I've played one or two, um, one or two missions on Advanced Warfare. Actually, I just thought about it. But I mean, if you want to go to the menu design, I really feel like Advanced Warfare nailed it. But I can't say Infinite Warfare did bad. I would say, for if you if you want to count menu design in this for some reason, I feel like the menu design just deserves about the even amount. I feel like basically what they did with Infinite Warfare was they just reskinned Black Ops 3 with an uglier camo design and uglier colors. I mean, I don't get why it would take so long to create a game of that sort. I don't feel like they did their best job either. I think they could have put more work into the game, and I honestly am kind of disappointed with what they created. Treyarch in general needed to do a better job, and I think Titanfall 2 did better than that game. 
this year. So to be real, um, I'm going to say Advanced Warfare wins by a lot, but the supply drops are kind of equal. If you guys enjoyed this video, please remember to comment, like, or subscribe. And if you guys have a different opinion, feel free to leave that down in the comment section below because I am definitely fine with that. I don't care. You guys can have your own opinion. But this is my opinion. And if you guys enjoyed the video, please remember to comment, like, or subscribe, like I said. And Electronic Leader is signing out.